Hey, I just wanted to put out a quick update on DojoCAD. I've been doing some stuff behind the scenes, and if I've done everything right, a lot of you shouldn't notice anything at all. Okay, thanks for watching. But seriously, I translated it into 14 languages. <laughs> okay. It came to my attention recently that someone had forked DojoCAD about a year and a half ago and translated it into Chinese. Unfortunately, they didn't keep it up to date, and then it just disappeared overnight. Clearly there's some demand for different languages, so I factored out all the actual text in the app into a file I can shove through Google Translate. And then I did just that, over and over again. Currently I have every language officially supported by Warframe in a Google Translate quality. Nobody told me there were two frickin' different Chineses. <laughs> oh, and I also have Pig Latin. When I was first working on the behind the scenes stuff, I generated a Pig Latin version for testing and I'm leaving it in because it makes me laugh very hard. <laughs> Come on, that's funny as hell. Anyway, the point, I need your help. So Google Translate produces something. Is that thing good? I don't know, probably not. It clearly doesn't know what to do with words like Tenno, Orkin, Vent Kids. And I'm pretty sure the German version has a lot of problems. So I need volunteers to help proofread this stuff. Look, I'll start learning all these other languages once I'm done learning English. If you know one of these languages, here's how you can help. Bring up DojoCAD. You've got your browser configured for your native language and it should just come up in that language. If it doesn't, then you may have to select it from the menu. And just tell me if you see anything wrong and what it should be. There are a ton of ways to get in contact with me. Forums, Reddit, heck, just leave a YouTube comment. We'll make it work. And if you really want to help me, bring up the language menu and click the first link at the bottom. This takes you directly to the whole language file. Okay, I know it looks like a lot, but that's just because it is. DojoCat does a lot of things you probably didn't know. There's a second link down here with the English version for comparison. It's just JSON key value pairs. The key stays the same and the value is what gets translated. All these bracket numbers are where other strings get substituted in. This is pretty standard for how software translation actually works. Download your language's file and look for stuff to fix. Change a few things, change everything. I have no idea how good or bad these are. And send that file to me. Again, plenty of contact options, or if you're comfortable with Git, you can attach it to an issue or even file a pull request. Thanks to anyone who decides to help. All I can offer you is a credit in the help section. Speaking of which, I am not asking anyone to translate this incredibly large help section. I mean, god damn, it's easily a hundred times what's in the language bundle, and judging by the questions I get, no one ever reads it anyway. I don't want people wasting their time on this. I do have a Chinese version I ran through Google Translate, which was a pain in the ass, and even without knowing the language I can tell it's garbage. Don't worry about it. That's most of what I wanted to talk about, but there's a couple of other quality of life changes. I added a separate arrival gate. I kept seeing people get confused. The spawn room and arrival gate are two separate things. You must have a spawn room, and it can only be certain rooms. The arrival gate, on the other hand, is optional, and it can be put anywhere. Um, I also added a little marker in all the halls to show where the console is. It's not always clear from a DojoCAD layout which direction the more symmetrical halls are actually facing. This is super niche, but it does matter sometimes. Speaking of halls, I finally added scroll bars to the menu so I could put all the theme halls in a single menu. I didn't have a choice with the size of this frickin' language menu. And lastly, if you look closely, the link format has changed. The actual layout code is now after a hash mark. GitHub Pages has a limit on how big your URL can be. I don't want to go into details, but this works around that. You'll only notice if your layout link is astronomically large, like my test bed. All existing links out there should still work. They'll get translated when you load them. And yep, that's it. I closed out the video by talking about link formats. Perfect. Thanks for watching.